Hey YouTube, bringing you our next live attack. We are just on the tail end of this war, and as you can see, we're up 2120, just a little bit more than four hours to go, but they only have two attacks left, both of them their number six, and their number six is pretty much going to have to three-star um, our number five here, Mikey, uh, for them to even have a chance. As you can see, we have not even touched their four yet, and we still have uh, two Town Hall 10 attacks left. So assuming that we can uh, three-star their four, that's going to be the end of that, but the live attack I'm bringing you is Joel going in on their number 8. And uh, if Joel can get the 3 star on this attack, that's going to put us in a real good position for uh, finishing off this war with the win. So it looks like he's bringing just mass Valks. He's got a poison that he has not dropped yet. I guess he's saving that poison for a rainy day. I don't know. He lost a golem to that dragon, but it looks like the queen is going to lock on and take care of it. Not sure why he was saving those poisons. Valks coming in at the bottom. Uh, heal nice and early for those Valks, and there's the poison on the skeletons, okay? Uh, so Valks are going to hit this Tesla farm. This is a cleanup attack, obviously, so he knows where the Teslas are. Those Valks are going to just beat right through the wall, get on the king, and there's the next heal for those Valks. Looks like he has pretty much the majority of his Valks sitting in a heal spell. A couple of Valks down here in the bottom that are doing a little bit of tanking for those Wizards, but the bulk of his army right here, and he's just letting those Valks beat straight through the walls. He's going to go ahead and drop the last heal for him there right on that Wizard Tower, and this is looking real good. It looks like the Valks are going to beat through the wall and start clearing up some of the trash over there. The Queen's going to get that last Archer Tower, and then down here on the bottom, these are the only defenses that are left, and those Valks are doing a little bit of tanking, but unfortunately the Wizard Tower does lock on to those um wizards that he had down there but he's still got plenty of valks they're going to beat through this wall here and a whole horde of valks coming this is going to be a three star for sure nice and easy it's got this uh troll buildings in the corner but a minute and a half left and it looks like he's going to get a nice split where he's going to get the builder hut at the top and the gold mine on the bottom Woo, making it look easy joel just just under two minutes for that three star attack fantastic job so that is putting us in a really good spot where we are up by two stars and they only have two attacks left and their number six pretty much has to three star Mikey to tie it and then he'll have to three star one of our other nines to put them up one star but we're definitely going to get the win because all we would have to do is get one star on their number four and I feel like even a clan with the incredibly low skill level of the Clavens should be able to handle getting one star on their number four. So we will be back with the war recap in four hours whenever this thing wraps up. And excellent job to Joel getting the three star for us.